Welcome back. When a soccer team wins a championship, they add a star above the logo on the front of their jerseys. The Rowdies have been one game away from doing that in each of the past two seasons. Our Kevin Lewis shows us how they plan on adding to the trophy case in 2022. And another championship. The Rowdies earned a spot in the 2020 USL championship final before COVID wiped it out. They made it back and hosted the final last season, but lost 3-1 to Orange County. So Tampa Bay heads into another season with unfinished business. It's hard not to be defined by one game when that game's the difference between adding a star to your crest or not, but we try all the time to not let one game uh, define us. If we can do better than we did last year, that's going to be fantastic. You know, but that's the, the level and the standards we've set, and that's what we're going to try and do. Rowdy's captain Seba Guenzadi is entering his sixth season with the franchise. And he's three goals away from becoming the team's all-time leading scorer, passing his friend Georgie Christoff. But Seba isn't concerned about the individual accolades. Hey, George is a very good friend of mine. He's an unbelievable person. You know, he tells me beat the record every time, and you know, it's just uh, a good competition we got going on. I try not to think about it too much. All I try to do is try to uh, make the team win and try to help out as much as I can. Goal scorers are always in demand, but getting guys like Seba to stay a rowdy is why this team has had so much success. I think it also says a lot about the club, the team, the owners, that we've worked so hard to keep him and we've been able to keep him. I think he's in the best place and I think it's proven when you look at his career as a whole that we've been great for him and, and he's definitely been great for us. The Rowdies open the regular season Sunday at Birmingham. Kickoff is set for 5 o'clock. In St. Pete, I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC Action News.